Ladies and gentlemen, fast fashion and overproduction are causing growing mountains of waste, climate damage through greenhouse gases and wasting a resource. Between 2000 and 2015, the amount of clothing being produced doubled. On average, German consumers buy 60 new items of clothing a year. Those items are then worn only for half as long as they were 15 years ago. That places a massive strain on the environment and the climate. It takes 2,700 liters water to produce just one cotton t-shirt. And according to IPCC figures, the fashion industry today produces 10% of all CO2 emissions. That is as much as is produced each year by Russia, Japan and Germany combined. So it is no surprise that this sector of the economy is the second largest polluter of the environment in the world. This trend towards fast fashion also impacts negatively on working conditions. Price pressure, starvation wages, even shorter deadlines for delivery and a lack of health and safety provisions, the goods are produced where wages are low and working conditions poor. The COVID-19 pandemic has made the situation even worse, particularly for those people at the start of the textile supply chain in developing countries where no financial rescue package is available from government to help them through the coronavirus crisis. So a post-COVID world must not look like it did pre-COVID. The prevent new pandemics happening to halt climate change and to stop the exploitation of our planet, we must finally make our patterns of consumption and production sustainable. This is particularly true for the textile manufacturer. We need a circular economy in that sector that uses the minimum of resources, avoids waste and rescues fibers. The cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach can help us achieve a circular economy in textile sector. This approach with looks at the production process in the round and uses intelligent product design aims to create close cycles. That is a concept that is gaining increasing importance in the Partnership for Sustainable Textiles and in the further development of the Green Button, our government-run label for sustainable produced textiles. Today, we will be discussing with uh, C2C NGOs what it takes to achieve a circular economy. So I'm pleased by the great interest in the topic and that so many representatives of business, trade associations, politics and research are here today. Because the sustainable transformation of the textile sector is something we can only achieve together. Thank you.